he's letting the Scarlet Knight and anyone wearing that's not Nebraska Red know about it on his way back down the floor. Rutgers hasn't lost on this floor 13 and 0 this year. Big response there for Baker with his first points, and what a time for it to come. And I know it's early with 235, but if you are Rutgers and you're beating on a dribble drive, particularly if it's Mac, give the foul and make a murder from the line because it's only going to be a one and one. Both teams with eight common fouls here in the second half. For Bjornison. One and done that time for Nebraska. And a better job by Harper there of attacking the left-handed shooting pocket on Thorpe Arneson. Baker has his first bucket, was trying to hunt down another. Johnson gives him a second chance. Yaboa for the tie. And it starts with Johnson. He did not allow himself to get blocked out. It's one thing to be in front of Johnson. It's another to get your body into him and eliminate that length. And the freshman will learn that from Nebraska. But because he didn't complete the blockout, Johnson able to tip it to himself and finds the grad transfer who delivers the second consecutive three for Rutgers. Yaboa has 20. He's hit three threes. Johnson, his 11th rebound to get Yaboa that bucket. Had 14 rebounds versus Nebraska in the first meeting, nine on the offensive end. And Johnson, just showing you hate, he plays within his limitations. You're not gonna see him try to do something of which he is not capable. You're not gonna see him step out and knock down a three, but that was such a big play to not come over the top. He did not allow himself to get completely blocked out. He took a step back, and then we talk about the tip drill in football. That was a tip drill equivalent in basketball, tipping it to himself, and then kicking it out to Yaboa. The fourth consecutive sellout. here at home in Jeopardy today. They're going to isolate again, go back to that same shot. You've got Bogarnison in that corner. They're trying to isolate him along with Mack. Mike Mack had some room to move. Johnson was waiting. And a better recognition by Rutgers. They floated in an extra defender over there. Good adjustment by Coach Steve Pike on the staff, understanding what Nebraska was trying to get. Another one-four set. Remember the last time they isolated easily on an island, allowed to get right. Baker inside the lane. He lost it. Off him last. And that's the right call. And then you also kind of wonder with that left thumb, is there still just not enough strength in that hand he put it on the floor with his left hand. That's the right call. It goes clearly off his leg, which all, you kind of wonder if that left hand, if that thumb is still not quite strong enough. And it's Tied at 72. About a minute to play. has had 16 in the second half. A perfect five for five. Thor Yarnison into the lane. The kick out to Easley. What a block out by McConnell. What a block out by McConnell of finding the body of Cross and not allowing Cross a chance at a weak side rebound. And Pico wanted a timeout. It's his last one. Boy, the ability to execute the fundamentals under pressure. We've talked about it from the foul line. Now watch at the bottom of your screen. McConnell, watch him locate Cross, get his body into him, and then go up and retrieve the ball with two hands. That is textbook. And he also understood 90% of the time. Indiana, ranked 25th in the country at the time. And they took Indiana this year to overtime in one of the early, uh, early conference games. Impressed by the resolve by Nebraska here today. Trailing by as many as 14, but now Rutgers with a chance to take nope. the lead. Baker with the fadeaway. Yaboa 
with a rebound. He got knocked around a little bit and still was able to outlet it. Now, if you're beaten with a dribble drive here, there's no question what you do. You foul. You got a foul. Especially if the guy's got a clear berth. So far, no foul. Baker for three. And the lead. He hit. Oh, with 1.1. Baker. The shot maker. Take a look at the shot clock at the top of the screen. And again, you have to understand time and score. There may be folks saying, if you're Gervais Green, foul, foul. No, you, the guy is stepping back and knocking down a three. It's just, that's just a big time delivery from Baker, especially when you consider, Lisa, that he had a couple dribble drives that went wanting. And Rutgers got themselves in a hole because of a big run put forth by the Nebraska Cornhuskers, a 12-2 run. But how about the response by the home standing Scarlet Knights, a 9-0 run of their own here. Part of a 9-0 scoring run for Rucker. This side of the floor to the other because Thorbjornis can run the baseline and make that baseball pass with a strong hand. Running the baseline, here's Green. Going for the tie, the half court heave. Perfection still resides at the rack. A perfect 14 and 0 this year. The score in this one, but man, he found some drama. Here's the eventual game winner. And that reaction at the rack. Another sellout crowd, the fourth straight, celebrating that shot. Geo Baker just with six points today, but hit the biggest shot of the day. 